Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Bible Study Minute. Today we're taking a look at Proverbs chapter 16 through 18. And in these chapters, the emphasis is really on looking at our speech and the words that come out of our mouth as they really prove whether we are wise or someone who is a fool. So someone who is careful about what they say and really shows what's in their heart as good and pure is someone who is wise and their speech in essence elevates them. But at the same time, there are people who show themselves as fools by what they, by what they say. And so these are people that cause division, take bribes, pervert justice, all that kind of stuff based on their words and their actions. But even in this, there are a couple of nuggets that I want to point us to. The first one is Proverbs chapter 17, verse 6, which says, Grandchildren are the crown of the elderly, and the pride of children is their fathers. I mean, we all know that grandparents love their grandchildren. There's no denying that. But what we see here is that children look up to their to their fathers, and more so just their parents in general. So for us as parents who are raising children, we need to remember that and make sure that we are seeking after wisdom, just living a godly life, so that we are setting an example for them because they are looking up to us as the example for how they are going to live their lives eventually. So that's the first one. The second one goes back to chapter 16, and it's chapter 16, verse 6, which says, Iniquity is atoned for by loyalty and faithfulness, and one turns from evil by the fear of the Lord. And this is so true, and it points us to the gospel, which is the thing that we always need to keep our mind focused on, is looking towards Jesus Christ and what he's doing. And that is exactly what this verse does. Iniquity is atoned for by loyalty and faithfulness. First and foremost, by Jesus Christ and what he did. He was loyal to the Father by doing exactly what God wanted him to do. And he was faithful to complete the mission that he was sent to do. So he lived a perfect life. He died on the cross exactly like God wanted him to do. And it, it is that loyalty and faithfulness that atones for our iniquities. But at the same time, there is our own loyalty and faithfulness that comes into play when we turn to God and run to him and put our faith in him because we are no longer living for ourselves, but we are pledging our allegiance to him, putting our faith in him. So it's our loyalty and faithfulness to, to God that atones for our iniquities because without putting our faith in him, our sins are not atoned for. And ultimately, what we see here is that the, the one who turns from evil, it comes by the fear of the Lord. And really, when we understand who God is and understand how serious our sin is, that is when the first part of the verse happens. So we need to understand who God is, how serious our sin is. And once we do, we are able to turn from evil, put our faith in God, and then give our loyalty in the rest of our lives to him. And that's really the heart of what we do every single day is putting our faith in God, trusting in him, living a life of wisdom so that we are pleasing to him because that is where our loyalty lies. So that's what I want to encourage you with today is one, look at all these Proverbs and see how you're living your life. Are you living your life as someone who is wise or someone who is showing themselves as a fool? And just really look at this verse, the gospel, and see your need for atoning and putting your faith and loyalty in Jesus Christ. So that's all I have for now. Until next time, grace and peace.